Oh my goodness, we're back. Oh my gosh, we're here for the final hour of trading for Thursday, September the 23rd, uh, 2021. And uh, I'm alive and well, although I tell you, I had a bit of a nap here. A uh, little late getting uh, getting everything going, but we're, we're here. Uh, welcome one, welcome all. Um, nice to see you. We got a big day here on the Dow, up 575. Um, it's been holding fairly steady here uh, right across the board. Uh, started off with a gain right away and kept building and building and building. Topped out uh, around 2 o'clock, um, so an hour ago, but uh, holding very nicely. Uh, S&P up 63 points. Uh, NASDAQ up 175. The, the Dow is up 1.68%. The, the S&P is up 1.44%. NASDAQ is up 1.17%. Very great, solid, big day. Wiped out all of Monday's losses. The rest of the week with the pluses and the minus, we have an up week this week. Dow is, uh, the oil is um, down, uh, no, down, uh, sorry. The oil is up a buck for a gallon at 73.27. And it, it's now in the low 70s again. Again, I think it's overvalued because I don't see a, a shortage of oil. I, I just don't see a shortage of uh, it is what it is. There's a lot of speculation here, as always, and the pundits keep saying, oh, no, it's going to 100 a barrel if we have a cold winter. I, I don't know how they come up with that. They can talk theory, but in really, reality, I, I don't know. I, okay, whatever. Um, welcome back. Um, Rocket Lab is still underwater, unfortunately. It is down 27 cents. It has been negative now. Uh, Oh, gosh, uh, right off until, what was it, right back from uh, the opening in the first 30 minutes, we went negative. Um, not a lot. I mean, the low is 14.05. That was about noon hour. Now we're at 1428. We've been slowly creeping back up a tad, you know, getting better. But we're down 27 cents, uh, 1.6 million shares. Not a lot of uh, activity there. SoFi up 32 cents at $17.16. High of the day was just around 11 o'clock when I was saying my uh, goodbyes this morning uh, when I was getting ready to shut down for a little bit. We got the 17.28, and uh, here we are now at 17.16. 12 cents below that price, holding fairly well, 25.9 million volume, but we're not seeing a breakout. The big B word, the breakout. The stock is better, yep, but it's not taking off yet. So there's, there's uh, just kind of wonder if we're just, you know, waiting around for a, an, announcement, an announcement to make it happen. Should be the bank charter, something else, but it is, it is, it's not going. Uh, GameStop, 192.24, up 210. Um, high of the day was uh, 195.75. That was this morning around 11. And the low was 191.61 just a little while ago, about uh, 10, 20 minutes ago. Now we're at 192.67. Um, Matterport up 88 cents today. <clears throat> High of the day was when I was trying to say goodbye. We reached up to uh, 2396, and um, that was as high as it got, and it's been backing off ever since. 2326 now, 70 cents lower. It it did back off around two o'clock to uh, oh 2314 or so, um, and um, 2308. And then now it's a 2320. So a bit of a build again. Um, Three million volume today on Matterport. No complaints. I mean, I'm not not upset. This is this, if you're gonna have an up day, have an update. And I like an update. This is another good one on top of several we've had in a row. This is a very good streak. M E 23 and me uh, up a quarter to 913. We're not we're not taking off, but we're not giving it back. So we're holding a quarter game. Volume on 23 and me 968,000 today. Smart Rent's having a really good day here. It's up sixty cents to thirteen dollars and sixty cents, high of thirteen seventy four, but only a hundred and two thousand volume. Just dead quiet. There's nobody in the market jumping on this, and that's the bad news. We need millions of shares traded. We need a lot of, uh, uh, you know, hype and talking and trading and Wall Street betting and meme stock thinking and. It's not happening at the moment. Smart Rent, um, it's a good-looking company. I like it. everything about it, but at the moment, it's really quiet. I wonder if there's anything in the works here. Uh, I, don't, I just don't know. I just don't know. Uh, we'll watch that. 1360, up 60. Now, Spire. <clears throat> 1465 is the current price, down 380 on the day. Uh, Spire got as low as 1368. 
Uh, came up to uh, just after noon today. It reached its best level since this morning when it touched off at about 1524. Uh, it's now 1465. So it, it looked like it was coming back on, but not with a lot of conviction. Now it's slumped again. 3.48 million traded. And I wonder if there'll be another run or not. Uh, hard to say. It, it is off today dramatically. Um, for the week, uh, this stock is still up on the week. Um, early on uh, a week ago, it was 10.42. Um, this is what, the 23rd. So uh, the 22nd yesterday, the low was around 14, 13.90. On the 21st, we were around $13, 12.70. 20th were 12.70, um, the, and then the 17th we were 13.32, but we started at 10.58. So we broke out a week ago with the first breakout, and um, we've had several runs, but we're we're not at the high, which was a 19.50 yesterday. We didn't, we have not rematched it. Let's just say. Now a month ago, uh, Spire a month ago was 8.50. Uh, so. Uh, this stock has come a long way in a month. Uh, three weeks ago, 9.50, 9.60. Uh, uh, had a brief 10, 11, 12 dollar spill. Got up back up to about 10, down to 10, back to 11.50. Then down on the 14th to 9.19 a share, 9.04. So we have come nicely higher on the run here. And Spire, of course, is taking over uh, Exact Earth. So. I think there's a lot more to come with this company, but we've had a big run already. So it's not it's not been one of those stocks going up 10, 20 cents a day. No, no, it's been this, it's been this, and here we are. Kind of makes fun for action, but uh, hard to predict sometimes. ATIP is up 12 cents, uh, 351. What the heck is going on with ATIP today? Um, I'd sure like to have a, you know, I don't have a reason for it. It's 744,000 volume. We'll take it. Thank you. Uh, keep going. Uh, CYXT up 11 cents as well to 954. Sextera up to 954. Um, AMC Theaters up 20 cents. Uh, just bounced off a, almost a negative print here. It's now only up 17. <coughs> Robinhood uh, down a buck seven. Yeah, under. Uh, Vanek up 349. Home Depot up 76. IBM up 240. At 137.02. How about that? IBM. Um, Dow is up 563.92. Microsoft up $1.65 only at $300.23. It will not go back to 302, 303, 305. It doesn't seem to want to do it. Um, yeah, the high of the day, $300.90. It's now $300.21. Doesn't seem to have it in it at the moment. Apple up 97 cents to 146.82. Tesla. Up 94 cents. Bed Bath and Beyond is now down on the day, uh, down seven cents. I've got, uh, I've got, uh, where am I here? Uh, here we go. I've got BlackBerry up a dollar twelve, holding a gain all day. Really good gain. Came in with some good results. Um, uh, Ten sixty eight is the price up a dollar eleven. Uh, Royal Caribbean eighty seven eighty seven uh, up two fifty four. Not worth it, but that's where the stock is right now. It did get as high as 89.23 today. Uh, unbelievable. It's a stock. This is a stock that's worth maybe 40 bucks. Maybe. Uh, but the emotion of uh, coming back to normal and cruising again is just overpowering investors. And they just want to, you know, they're buying it. They're buying. How can I tell you? Goldman Sachs up 586 to $391.33. Looking good. Amazon is up 42 bucks. Facebook up 321. Google up $23. JP Morgan up 526 to 161. It's doing well too. Cisco up about 22 to 5674. Um, yeah, American Airlines up 35 cents. So there you go. Those are the most of the stocks that we follow here uh, quite closely. Uh, it's an interesting, interesting day today uh we're 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 up on all of the stocks we're following none of our stocks are you know two three dollar bust out move stocks none of these former specs have had a big day like that the dow has had a great day up 559 uh you know s p is up nasdaq on these stock these markets have improved nicely but um, ours are uh, you know mostly higher uh but none of them are taking off the, the loser is spire down 381 at force 1464 and it's it's had the big week 
but it's been it's giving up a little bit of it. Will will there be a another turnaround on the stock now? I don't know. Is there a short wall in the way of the stock? That's a possibility. I don't know. Uh, the Spire Global volume again: three point four eight million shares, fourteen sixty nine last trade. So well, we'll watch for that. Welcome. Uh, nice to have you here and uh, see what's going on here. Anyone see that uh, what's going on with this debt deficit bill? Uh, not trying to be political. Think a showdown might be hitting the market. Uh, Shut down. Relief bill is going to get blocked. Well, uh, you know, it's politics and uh, it is what it is. Um, I don't know uh, if there's a way that the the, the uh, if there's a way that the Democrats can turn this into a 50 vote uh, issue rather than a 60 vote issue, then uh, you know, they might make some headway. I'm not sure what they have in mind. Um, we'll find out what's going on. Bruce, have you uh, have you talked about DATS? That's uh, it's one of my favorite long term hold picks. I think it's going to be the next social media leader. I've been in it for a bit. It's doing great today. I don't even know what that is. I know uh, what is DATS. I have no idea what it is. Um, all right, um, Uncle Bruce, I'm going uh, at. Um, uh, I'm looking at. I'm looking at James Gunn and saying, Hey, I'm looking at Sextera ten dollar calls. January the 21st for 85 cents. I was hoping to get your thoughts on these. Okay, you're thinking about buying January $10 calls. Uh, Sextera, yeah, that's a good price. Uh, that is that is a cheap uh, cheap price. Now, if you can get your hands on on anything longer than January for like a dollar ten, dollar twenty, I'd get those instead. Like if you can get three more months for not a lot more, I'd buy those. But this is a good price. This is a cheap stock's 9.55. So. And a one dollar pop from here to ten fifty five. These contracts are fifty five cents in the money. You'd only have thirty cents premium on a four month contract. Yeah, I, I like this one, but I would love it if you were able to get a longer term. So keep an eye open for, you know, anything past uh, January next year, February, March, April, May, June. Take take a good look. Um, and uh, uh, okay, okay. What are we saying here? We're talking about shares getting assigned. Uh, I'm a share getting assigned. Most likely, be able to buy back cheap. Can happen. Um, not always. Uh, I've been having a fun day. Island girl made a little powder. Nothing big. A couple of things came through for me. My SCD and put and KLP LP of all things. Um, little was uh, Spire flatline today. Uh, there you go. Um, Anti PC. If you don't feel like crying, or Ricardo, take it from me. Um, Spire perfect for covered call uh, or covered put. Yes, cash covered put. Spire cash covered put. Good move. Yes, I agree with that. Um, that's this is definitely a good. This is a good day to take on a Spire cash put, a covered cash put. Absolutely, writing a put on Spire today would be a really good idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Toss that filibuster out and go with 50, 50, 50 votes. Uh, go to work for a day and Spire is down. Uh, Matterport's really strong. I am impressed, says Delahode. It's 2317, up 79. Um, it is a covered call, but what is the cost to buy back? Do not have a lot of capital right now, uh, Ricardo is uh, is uh, saying at the moment. Um, Erico, Bruce, do you think January 2023 is far enough out for a, a Royal Caribbean um, a puts? Oh, sure. Uh, January 2023, that's tons. Yeah, tons. Uh, even summer of 2022, uh, yeah, but Jan 23, good, really good. Um, um, and yeah, if anyone wants to know what call did you sell there, Ricardo, which one are you talking about? Vimo, just stopping by to say hi and way to keep it real, Bruce. Oh, thank you, Vimo. Appreciate that. Uh, now back to buying Spire calls. Um, and TPC, oh boy. Uh, 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 Larkin, when writing puts on Goldman, what delta would you aim for? Um, um, I'm not going to give you that answer. What I'd be looking for is, um, uh, if you're going to write cash, you can't, you're not going to write cash puts on Goldman. I, I, I really, do you have 30 plus thousand dollars to do one contract? Is that what you're actually going to do? Writing puts on Goldman? I, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if I have viewers that have that kind of money here. Do you, do you really have 30 plus thousand dollars to write a put? 70 plus thousand to write two puts? Are you, are you tr truly, truly, uh, for true and for real? I mean, you can, you can write in the money puts. Uh, you can write, uh, out of the money puts, um, I'd be looking at out of the money puts, uh, but again, that's just me. Um, okay, uh, Ricardo uh, H seven no Paul. If your call is barely in the money, don't sweat if a sign. Just wait for Monday. Just just wait. Um, uh, Anti PC, glad you are doing well and branching out on different stock picks as Island Girl. 
Uh, he has a SoFi 17 and 16 and a half dollar strike on SoFi. See, so the, the 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 call is in the money. The stock's at 1705. He's in the money at the moment. Uh, but the shares have been backing off a tad from their high of the day. So Ricardo, they're actually coming back to you. Um, e, I'm wondering, do you not have enough money to buy your call back and write another call? Um, if you have a margin account, you should be able to do this. And uh, I don't know how many you're talking about, though. If you've written 10 and, uh, and um, you can't buy all 10 back in one shot, don't worry about that. Buy Buy two, three, four, five of them back at a time. Whatever you can afford, write five new ones, and then buy the other, buy the other five, and write the next five new ones. Uh, Fenivel, Ricardo, I see now. Can you roll your SoFi calls to a later time for more premium? Um, and Uncle Bruce popped in to give you a solid thumbs key. Uh, you demand. Thanks, you. Thanks, Austin. Uh, Larkin, uh, put spreads. Mm, uh, Nicholas uh, puts on a gold, a Goldman Sachs. Uh, um, again, I'm. Not sure what's who's doing what here. Uh, it has paid well. I don't know. It seems to me as soon as I started doing that, all the spikes started taking off too. I'm going with it, uh, Ricardo. I have not learned how to roll yet. Trying to get to the classes. There you go, um, Erico Bruce. Can I borrow some money to write some puts? Uh, Hanty, watch the classes definitely. KW hi for Seattle. Jen and Uncle Bruce are always welcome to visit here. Thank you, KW. Um, Smish. Uh, Kiwi, yes, Bruce. Do you, do you have viewers in that category? I, I don't know if I have uh, serious sized viewers. Like I mean, in the millions, I doubt it. Uh, if I did, uh, they're silent. Um, it certainly haven't made it known to me. I, I don't know. Um, I, I think that the, the the kind of viewers I'm attracting are <coughs> a lot of you out there who are. Um, you're sitting on less than a couple hundred thousand dollars. A lot of you are in that uh, that five to fifty thousand range, or the thirty to one hundred thousand range, give or take. And you're you're trying to figure out if there's a way to become self-employed, and whether I can be self self-sufficient, self-reliant, and not go back to work. I think it's a lot of you right there. If you've got a couple of million bucks to play the markets, um, you are probably dealing with a professional who's helping you do everything I'm telling you to do because they will they will deal with you. But I don't know if they're doing this, or what, what I'm doing with you. Um, uh, but uh, but I think a lot of you who are here have, have been attracted to me because we are trying to find a way to be to be uh, uh, um, you know trying to live off of our investments. And uh, many of you have told me time and time again in private and here that never you never thought that you had had you had enough assets under administration that you had enough in hand to actually be self-employed. A lot of you thought. Oh yeah, I, I need millions before I can, you know, stop working for somebody. And uh, a lot of you are figuring, wow, this is amazing. Bruce, uh, I can write puts against Goldman Sachs. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. I, I'm not saying that none of you can, or any of you can. I'm just uh, thinking about the fact that one Goldman Sachs put uh, to write, uh, one Goldman Sachs put is uh, $39,130 if you're writing a 390. If you're going to write a a four hundred dollar Goldman Sachs put. It's a forty thousand dollar contract. You're going to write a, a four fifty. It's forty five thousand. Now some of you have that, and that's it. That's everything. Some of you have that, and maybe that much more. I'm few of you. I'm certain a few of you here have a half a million or more who can you know you can write two or three of these, and uh, away you go. Um, writing a Goldman Sachs put. Uh, I would be looking at uh, going out, uh, distant, going way out, um, and I would then write. Um, uh, I would then look to write, say, mm, let's see, we're 390 on the stock. Uh, uh, you know, I wouldn't be afraid to look at writing 400s, 425s, 450s. Um, on the other hand, if you are thinking of like writing a one put, a, a one month, two month, three month put, something closer in, and you can write maybe, um, oh, 375s, uh, 360s, uh, you, you know, you'd be given that premium to obviously uh, enjoy that against the falling stock obviously um so when it hit 372 this week uh, that was a perfect time to write obviously in hindsight everything's perfect but at 370 uh writing a 360 put or 350 put when the stock was 372 you'd be looking like a genius now obviously but uh, even so if the stock reaches 450 and you've been writing 375 puts now uh, th those are out of the money keep all the premium you can get now the question is the premium and uh, there you go um Aspire, don't don't look like it's going to make another run today. It is evening out 
or has nothing really changed in the short term as far as volatility? Um, well, we'll find out uh, as the afternoon wears on here. We got an, the last uh, 40 minutes to go, but Spire is at 14.75, just a little better now than that 14.50 range. But yeah, uh, it's not uh, you know catching a, a rocket to ship at the moment. But you never know with this stock. This stock can move a buck quick, real quick. KW Erico, um, when key of 40, I don't know what that means either. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's move on here. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. DM, I got a spider put. Um, I got a spider put I bought yesterday. We're doing it together, man. Um, and uh, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, no. No, brokers don't help with just a few million. You are much more help. Um, and uh, let's go moving on. Uh, John Biscuit, my portfolio stands at 146,000 pounds, which is 201,000. Giddy up, baby. Um, and uh, let's go. Uh, let's move on here. Um, let's go AB. The reason that I watch as often as I can to get is to get an idea of what the numbers slash facts mean, patterns mean. Um, if X happens, do Y, and so on. Also plan to buy all of our classes and take notes for life. There you are. Um, Uncle Bruce, I was looking at put spreads on Goldman. Could do a could do 380, 375 spread for October 15. Gets about a dollar a contract. Worth a look. Worth a look. Um, let's see here. What else is going on here? Uh, do, 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 do. Um, what else we got here? Um, hello, Smith. Uncle Bruce, once all my first investment that you've been recommending takes off. I will need one-on-one -on -one consultation to come with a long-term strategy. Gotcha. I am hoping to make a pool of cash to have some traveling fun when I retire next year. Uh, once I found five dollars down the back of a sofa, I invested it in McDonald's, not stocks, but burgers. Uh, there you go. Um, <laughs> I got. I grabbed a hundred more Rocket Lab shares. I cannot help myself. Um, and. Uh, um, here we go. I sold sold my calls on Spire. Made a chunk of change and bought Spire paper today. <clears throat> there you are. There you are. There you are. Um, Spire now fourteen eighty two. A little better again. Just a, another ten cents better. Uh, Smart rent holding thirteen fifty one. Me up twenty eight cents to nine sixteen. Matterport twenty three forty two. Up a dollar four on Matterport. Coming on a bit again. GameStop two seventy one gain one ninety two eighty five. SoFi seventeen oh six. Up 22 cents. Rocket Lab down 30 cents to 14.24. The Dow 5.62 gain here. Um, we've got the S&P up 60 and Nasdaq up 170 points. So we're getting uh, we're getting a good market here. Um, and um, uh, well, there you have it. That's where we're at. Uh, watching this uh, watching this market uh, crank along here. Uh, it's a it's an up week. Uh, and this this uh, just sort of reaffirms my contention that um, the markets might react to an outside story like a China um, interest rate problem that uh, or, or or debt bond problem that Evergrande might have. It might react to uh, maybe uh, the Dow might react or the market reacts to inflation concerns for a few days, or it might react to rumors of higher in interest rates. It might react. It might react to all kinds of one-off problems but the bottom line for the stock market and the economy as a whole is there are trillions of dollars available to do business and and there's trillions of dollars for government to borrow there's trillions of dollars for business of business to borrow there's trillions of dollars for consumers to get their heads on to uh, mortgage a home or, or get a car loan uh, and there's a lot of business not getting done because of supply chain const constrictions, problems. I, I did read this morning, I think it was this morning, that uh, the automotive sector in North America, uh, I might be wrong on this, this might be a global number, probably is a global number, $310 billion of car sales will not take place.
this calendar year because of parts shortages. Now, this doesn't mean that the business is lost. It just means that if you wanted to get your hands on a Ford F-150 pickup truck with all the bells and whistles and the exact kind of transmission you wanted and the, 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 uh, the, all the luxury features inside the cab uh, and uh, GPS, uh, um, satellite radio, uh, uh, you know, you name it, you are delayed right now in some cases because certain paint colors aren't available, certain, uh, certain options aren't available right now. There are a gazillion, not a million, there are a gazillion <laughs> Ford F-150 trucks, uh, or at least it feels like it, at Ford automotive plants all over the USA that are 95 to 99 percent finished can't get finished you can drive them but you can't you can't drive them you know the way you want them. you can get them from the factory floor to the parking lot and get them back to the factory floor and then install those parts but there are, are a number of ford f-150s uh, uh, thousands of them that cannot be delivered to the dealerships and this is true of gmc trucks and uh, cars of course automobiles suvs uh we're talking about $300 billion in sales that are being held up right now just in automotive. And it's not only computer chip, but that is the culprit of culprits. And of course, computer chip shortages are affecting other industries for other uh, goods. And so this is, this is every industry all over the place. The smartest refrigerators and stoves and microwaves, you name it. Uh, it, this is you add this up globally now you take the u.s north america problem make it a european problem check the asia problem and then just add up add up add up you got trillions of dollars of business that is not getting done now and this is a an economy firing on six of eight cylinders it's it's not uh, and it's not north america it's a global problem that's why the markets actually aren't going down this is the kooky thing because we know we're not doing the numbers, but the markets won't go down. Why won't the numbers of the markets go down when we know we're not doing the business? Because it's pent up business. We know as soon as these high end Ford F 150s show up and Ford F 250s and Ford F 350s and Ford 550s and you name it, there are RVs that are uh, being awaited upon uh, at RV dealerships all over North America all over Europe, when they arrive, they're sold. They're picked off. They don't sit on the lot and get dusty. They're gone. Uh, your local, all of you are telling me, your local auto dealers, uh, your local uh, RV dealers, uh, empty lots or very light volume looking inventory scenarios, uh, what you've been telling me. This is everywhere. And the market knows it. The market knows that we're all light on inventory. So the market is saying, yeah, okay, well, the money is coming. Um, the sales are coming. This is good news for the market. The market believes and sees. And Americans and Canadians and Europeans bank accounts waiting to spend. It's just piling up. There's all this cash being piled up, ready to go. And uh, the market likes that. The market is a forward thinker. The stock market is a forward prognosticator of the economy. And the Dow and the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ are at or very near at all-time record highs. And they're going to stay here. So when you get these 1,000 share point drops or 800 point drops or five or six straight days of drops, they'll be slight. There might be a little jolt, and then there's the nibbling coming in, and the nibbling doesn't stop, and it goes on day after day after day, and all this week, <clears throat> the markets have recovered, and today they're higher. They're higher. We've had an up week this week. Doesn't feel like an up week for a lot of you out there, um, but uh, for pension funds, they don't feel it. They don't feel good, but it's an up week. Generally good week, of course. Not too bad. Not too bad week, of course. We've had a generally good week this week. Anyway, there you go. Interesting. Uh, okay. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome uh, all of you to the show here. Uh, it's nice to have you here. Um, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, <laughs> that burger comment got me off guard. 
too funny. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what else is going on here? Uh, my average on ATIP, Matt says, is now down to 589 from 968. Now I wait. Beautiful. You know, if this thing pops back to 750, you're already in the chips, man. It's great. Um, Spire, um, SPIR hit $12 again. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, I, have, I have 1741. I have 1471. I don't know what you're looking at. Uh, let's see. Um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, Bruce, uh, Uncle Bruce, I closed my SoFi. January, first ever put for a 150-pound profit and sold my first covered call on Matterport October for $250. No questions, just proud of myself. Chris, welcome to the club. Way to go, man. Way to go. Um, remember, writing options is a is a uh, constant game. It's not like a – it can be a one-hour event. It can be a one- or two-day event. Yes. Sometimes you write an option, stock backs off, you buy it right back, make score, day or two, eight. Yeah. Uh, but they also are an uh, ongoing. It's an ongoing uh, program that you uh, constantly will buy back an old call or put you wrote, replace it with a new one. Sometimes it's rollovers. Um, there's always ways to haul, keep hauling in money. Way to go, Chris Gandhi! Absolutely right. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, yeah, when my when my granddaughter when my grandfather bought a scar, it took three months to deliver. There's there's what I mean. Um, yeah. Uh, let's go here. Uh, Folks talking to each other. I don't want to. I don't want to be involved in other people's conversations, which is fine. Um, here, I'm just waiting, Uncle Bruce. I have a thousand ATIP at three sixty eight. I think I'm okay. I think you're okay too. Uh, you, you own. You own uh, that. That's company. That's all. All the stock they have. All the cash they have. I should say is three sixty eight a share. So yeah, you're fine. Definitely fine. Um, we're up thirty two on uh, SoFi at seventeen sixteen. GameStop still holding a 236 gain, 214 gain right at the moment. Matterport up a dollar four to 2342. 23 me up 29 cents. Smart rent up 46 cents. And Spire at 1493. Trying to hit 15 again. Uncle Bruce, I have a question about <clears throat> share to borrow. That you can access the data at iBorrow Desk. iBorrow Desk, Fintel. If a stock available is low, fee is high. Is it considered a prime one to short squeeze? Oh. I don't know. Uh, this these numbers uh, they seem to change on a daily basis quite violently, and I uh, I don't know how these guys do it. How do they get their numbers? Uh, where do they get them from? How reliable is that? Uh, are there? Uh, uh, I I don't. I'm just not part of this. I've never had to be part of this world. Um, uh, this share to borrow thing. Um, it's an indicator, I guess. It's a it's a barometer. It's uh, you know, but uh, but how it really happens and works and everything, I, I'm. It's a murky world. It's all digital, and I, I can't tell you. I just know that when I was a branch manager back in the uh, in the 1980s, uh, my. Got uh, three houses. I think we cut off for a sec. Uh, he'd say, he'd say, I have three brokerage firms that owe us all this paper on X Y Z securities. We're supposed to get a whole bunch of X Y Z stock certificates to settle trades we made a week ago, and they're not delivering the paper. They're they're not able to deliver, and uh, uh, we have all kinds of issues. And he'd be on the phone to the uh, to the corresponding broker. That owed him stock to find out where the hell is the paper, um, and um, you know, a day or so later it would arrive. Or uh, sometimes the excuse would be uh, we had a share certificate of fifty thousand shares 
I owe you 7,800 shares of stock. And I had to take the certificate over to the transfer agency to break it down and then deliver it to you. So we, you know, we owe you. We know we owe you. We will deliver. But we're waiting until tomorrow until we get our 7,800 shares certificate, like actual certs, tallying 7,800, and we'll deliver them to you. And we'll be we'll be square. And, uh, those are the days of certificate deliveries, literally pieces of paper to equal the stocks bought and sold, settling one week out. But generally speaking, if you knew you had to deliver 7,800 shares of XYZ stock to Merrill Lynch in four business days because yesterday you sold the stock, your, your firm sold the stock and you're in the cage, you got to deliver to Merrill. Uh, you have four days to get your uh, transaction done. This is four business days to get the transaction done. You, you could go into a transfer agent, drop certificates off at 10 in the morning and pick them up that afternoon at 2 o'clock and they would be recalibrated because the, the transfer agent has all these blanks of these certs for these companies. They're all blanks and they just fill in with a machine how many certificates there are. So they'll take a 5,000 share cert and break it into 5100s if you want, or five one thousands, or whatever you want it to be, um, and they'll crank them out, and then the comp the public company will be charged for the service of breaking the certificates out. It's expensive, uh, but it was done. And here you you know you gave us five thousand shares. Well, here's five thousand shares. Count them up. Okay, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four. Okay, there's my five thousand. You sign for them. Off you go. Grab it. Run to your cage. Gather up your stock certs that you need to deliver whatever you're delivering and then get them over to the broker and pick up a check anyway uh, this thing here it's now all digital uh, it's all done by computer and uh, I'm not sure how these guys can track it I really don't know it's it's a different world happy to see six era up at higher well I would love that too uh, go six era where are you at six era a uh, 958 at 15 yay go 1490 on spire it's uh, the least I can do for the gas park pistol community that says John Oh, okay, I don't know what this means. Uh, even Bruce knows he isn't sustainable. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, uh, Bruce, do you like warrants? A lot of these SPACs uh, had nicely priced warrants. No, no, I'm not a warrant, uh, not a warrant lover. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I guess my ATIP 352 is pretty good here. Um, uh, Uncle Bruce, I have a uh, director interview with Matterport this week. Wish me luck, please. I have a director interview. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Good luck with that, says everybody. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 um, thank you, Uncle Bruce, as always. Uh, good afternoon. Um, good afternoon, Uncle B and fellow apes. Uh, <clears throat> um, Uncle Bruce, I've been rolling my calls at 100% on Spire and Matterport. Now they are free trades. Interesting. Uh, Matterport make it for 24. We're at 23.45. Doesn't look like I run to 24 to me. Um, holy moly, ATIP and ME are up 3%. ME up 30 cents. Uh, Sextera up 15 cents. Uh, 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 yeah, ATIP up a dime. Uh, oh, man. Uh, the world is, is changing. Um, anyway, what can I say? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hi, Bruce and Jen from Sharon. Hi there. How you doing today? Uh, good afternoon all from Michael Downs. Um, and um, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. I can understand. Island Girl saying, I'm getting tired of doing business by phone in COVID times. Um, uh, I tried phoning car dealership for service. No one answers. Same happened earlier this week when trying to phone my brokerage hair pulling. Yeah, um, the phone thing is, is not working anymore. It's... Um, it's the online thing, and uh, with the online thing, you have a record of a contact to the company in writing. Um, they have a record of responding, and uh, yeah, this is this is different. The phone call is, uh, you know, you can track down foreign records and all that, but what a pain in the rear end that is, and expensive uh, and old school, isn't it? Interesting. Um, anyway, uh, now, if, if my ME would just compound daily at 3%, uh, in a few weeks, I wouldn't have a problem anymore. Uh, that's right. Uh, the ATIP comment about the stock being worth 360 and based on just cash on hand is intriguing. Yeah, you know, they, you know, they they raised a bunch of money on their on their on their SoFi merger and their and their pipe financing. They're sitting on this cash um, at three something a share. <laughs> it's a third of what they got the cash 
four. Remember, the cash they got was at $10 a share from SPAC investors and pipe investors, all at 10 bucks a share. It's at 360. So the other 64% we're talking about, the $6.47, that's the hard assets, you see. I, I think that the stock is trading at cash value. I, I, I suspect this is it. Just say uh, Uh, let's see. Let's see what's going on uh, here. AB, ME has been steadily going up for the past few days. I have a feeling that ME will be a new spire so far soon. There's something brewing here. I think there's something cooking. I think there's something cooking on ME. Uh, this stock is not sitting at 880 anymore, 850, 810. It's not just sitting there. It's traded a million again today. No one's talking. We're up again. Uh, you know, um, look at the week. Look at this week on ME. It's not the greatest chart of all time, but this is a good chart. Uh, give me this for three or four weeks in a row. Yeah, I like it. Um, something's something's up. Um, I don't know what, um, but yeah, they're sitting and they're sitting on a lot of money. Seven hundred million. Yeah, lots of money. Okay, uh, just mm, you know, mm, mm, mm. Um, okay. Uh, you know, Fanville, um, ABC, Fanville, me too. Got 20 calls for January, averaging break even, 14 something. I'll be happy soon. I'm not sure what stock they're talking about. Uh, I've seen a couple of new ATIP physical therapy clinics in my area, so I think they're doing okay. I, 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 they are expanding, yeah. And they are hiring. They are active, but they're hiring a new CEO to lead sort of the, he'll be the, he or she will be the front person, right? can't wait to find out who this is i can't wait to hear when this is uh sooner the better please it's up a dime right now 349 uh this stock is poised for a shot but uh boy we need the right catalyst what don't we don't we i think so uh, yeah 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 okay uh drafting cut it up um let's see uh uh let's 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 do a time up uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I think DraftKings might be an imposter. Uh, I put the, I hope I put the imposter on a timeout. Uh, SoFi seventeen eleven up twenty seven cents. Um, GameStop holding one ninety one thirty three up one nineteen. The Dow up five fifty six. S and P up sixty. Nasdaq up one seventy five. Oil up ninety five cents right now. Um, and uh, I'm up a lot of bagels overall twelve and a half percent. Let's see here. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, hockey, hockey rink, wrote Matterport, $15, no, wrote Matterport, 15th of October, covered call at 2250 strike premium, this, uh, 2250 strike premium, 195 okay, so Matterport, uh, 2250 for 195 uh, uh, premium, okay, uh, at 2445 what are the chances taken from me, what are the chances, the stock's going to be taken from you, um, uh, 2446 equals 10%, 25 equals 50%, um, I don't think they're going to take this from you uh, um, in, in, in the interim. I mean, it, the odds are very slight because the folks who are buying contracts from you just want to gamble on the stock movement. They're not interested in paying you a big fat premium to then buy the stock from you and, and end up paying way more than they could have just paid for the stock on the open market. So uh, the odds are very slim indeed at the moment. Now, in the last week of your contract's life, depending on where your stock is, then you could be exercised. But between now and the last week of your contract's life, the likelihood is that you will likely be buying back your call, uh, however many you, you wrote, um, at a, a price that's either below or above where you wrote it at, and either do a rollover or you're going to buy back the call for a profit and then issue a new call, maybe the same price, expiry price, for a month out again. Um, and not be, ever be exercised. Um, uh, right now, Matterport twenty three thirty nine. 
uh, you wrote a twenty-two fifty. You're only you know not even a dollar in the money. So anyone who uh, anyone out there, period, who bought these calls from anybody in the last uh, little while, they have no incentive to exercise these contracts. They are just trading them. They just want to trade them because people are trading the stock movement up and down and up because the, the options follow the stock. So they're just doing this. Everyone's trading, trading, trading. And you're just adding another um, um, contract into the liquidity of all the contracts. You're just adding to the liquidity. You're helping more liquidity happen on the contract. You're doing well. It's, everyone's happy. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Um, I have 10 contracts for December 17. Uh, what stock are we talking about, Fanville? Uh Let's hope for the best. Okay, I have no idea what this is. Uh, 23 and Me presenting at the Wells Fargo Healthcare Conference on Friday. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Was that is that current though, or are we talking about a uh, an old announcement that was made a while ago? Was is that truly uh, happening now, or is this uh, from a, a while ago? Uh, I'm kind of curious about that. Mm, uh, yeah, here we go. Just reading some headlines while I'm looking at this. Uh, where was I? Uh, we we're talking about. Uh, uh, we're talking about. Uh, we're talking about. Yeah, twenty three and me, right? Twenty three and me. Where are we? Do, 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 do. Me nine sixteen. Um, we are talking about presenting something, right? Um, and uh, that was. Um, yeah, that was released on the first of September. Um, are we talking about uh, where are we at? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was September the tenth. Is that the one you're talking about? Uh, with the health, Wells Fargo Healthcare. Uh, yeah, th that was the tenth of September, Chandler. This is old news. Uh, no, it's not. This is not now. This was then. This is two weeks ago. So nothing. No, nothing there. Sorry, nothing there. Matterport twenty three thirty nine up a dollar one high today twenty three ninety seven almost twenty four today. Another good day on the stock. Thank you for 170 thumbs ups today, everybody. Appreciate that. I'm going to put the knee emojis out there. I, I love this. Thank you for uh, for helping support this channel. Uh, thank you for all the birthday wishes yesterday. You guys are great. 2339. All right. Um, let's see. Um, thumbs up for Bruce. Uh, okay. Um, Uncle Bruce, I'm up 100% on my Matterport. Uh, uh, January, February uh, call, $25 call. Keep holding? Yeah, keep holding. Just keep holding. Um, very keep holding. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, let's see here. Uh, uh, okay. Um, yeah, the ME was September the 10th. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, let's move forward here. Um, okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, what are we going to get here? We've got uh, 12 minutes to go in the day. We are uh, holding a 541 point gain on the Dow. Big day. Very solid hold here on this day. 537 gain. 57.9 on SP. Now 58. NASDAQ, 171 gain. 92 cent gain on oil. And uh, uh, Matterport up a buck eight to 23.36. 23.39. Looking great. Um, GameStop up a dollar. SoFi up 34 cents to 17.18. 23 me will not give up ground. Up 27 cents. Smart Rand up 45 cents. Looking fine. Spire 14.84 uh, down 3.61. The ATIP up 13 and a half cents, closing near the high today. At this point, looks like it's going to anyway. Six Terra up 12 cents. Uh, AMC negative 10 cents. Robinhood down 69 cents. Vanic up 377. Home Depot up 21 cents. IBM up two bucks. Big winner today. Microsoft 299.95. It's a gain, but it's not a big gain. And today was supposed to be a big gain to salvage anyone with options. Uh, it's not happening here. Apple up a dollar. Tesla up 227. Um, Blackberry is still holding at one dollar a gain. Very nice. Um, Royal Caribbean still up one thirty six. Uh, 
and we've got Goldman up 625, 625 a share. So we got here this this afternoon, 44 cent drop on Rocket Lab to 14.10. Frustrating day on Rocket Lab. SoFi, though, doing well. 17.18. This sure beats 14 bucks, huh? A lot, a lot better than 14.50. I like that. Matterport, this beats 12, 13 bucks, 14 bucks a share, 23.41. I like it. 23 instead of 8.10. We're at 9.18. Like this a lot better. Um, come on, baby. Now we need Spire for a little pop, but I don't know if we're going to get one today. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get one today. Okay. 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 Um, and uh, let's go. Um, got it. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for it. I'm up finally. I got it. Uh, hang on a sec. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, just figuring out why why I'm having this issue. Why am I having this? Why am I having this issue? Why? 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 I know. I know. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. Oh, there we go. Bingo. Done. Okay. We're 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 we should be better now. Hopefully we'll be better on that. Okay, it's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, <laughs> Daniel, uh, I took profits of five hundred fifty percent on November calls for Spire on Tuesday at three fifty. Uh, uh, today I bought back in at one eighty five after seeing shorters drop the stock. I also sold October covered calls for twenty one fifty around the peak. Thanks, Bruce. Danielle, way to go, buddy. This is it. Uh, well done. Uh, let's see now. Um, and let's move on here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, here we go. Uh, Thomas is saying, all my stock's looking good. Time to stop dumping money in the market and go take some Uncle Bruce classes and get me smarted up like the rest of you guys. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, Uncle Bruce. Um, I sold uh, 18 puts on Spire today. $20, 10, $20, uh, 10, okay, I sold, okay, I sold 18 puts on Spire today, February 2020, and 8 till May 2022, average of 11, trying to buy them back 2 to $3. How much of free, fresh cash would you invest? Uh, so you so you wrote you sold puts on Spire. Okay, I, I'm assuming Mirko, you wrote puts. You you written puts today. I'm, I'm uh, and uh, uh, so where do you put your dollar signs and your numbers? You you're you're screwing me up. Okay, you're screwing me up. Uh, so you wrote twenty dollar puts for February twenty twenty two, the tenth of February, right? Right. And you and then you did you did eight more for May twenty two at an average of eleven dollars. <laughs> How much fresh cash would you invest? I, I, I get again, Mark. I don't quite. I don't know what you're asking me for certain. Uh, because I'm having trouble reading this whole thing. This is so confusing, you guys. Uh, maybe it's me. Uh, maybe I'm getting too old for this. Um, <laughs> uh, a hockey rink new member. Um, if you wrote puts, I'm happy. Um, and you're a long-term player, you're going to be fine. Uh, but, um, yeah, it, it's sometimes difficult to figure out what you are telling me here. Uh, uh, just, yes, I wrote, I wrote. About with nineteen thousand eight hundred in cash. Uh, okay, yeah, that would make sense because you wrote not quite twenty. Would that be right? Uh, uh, <laughs> if you're writing twenty dollar puts, you're 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 they're two thousand dollars each to write. Okay, ten of them would be twenty grand. Uh, nineteen thousand eight hundred would be not quite ten of them. I I'm assuming. Uh, I, again, I'm still not. 
<laughs> John, Uncle Bruce, your birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. Mine is today. Plus five years cancer free today. Just came back from the doctor. Thanks, Uncle Bruce, for your rest. You way to go, man. John Jepson, way to go. Mirko, I did get nineteen eight. I got nineteen thousand eight hundred dollars for the spire puts. How much would you keep? How much would you invest? Okay, so you wrote them. You got the cash. What to do now? Okay, okay. All right, Beneville, Uncle Bruce Mirko did the, the cash secured put for Spire at 20 strike expiring for nine bucks premium. There it is. Oh, thank you. That adds up, doesn't it? Because 20 times nine is 18 odd thousand, and he's got this. Guy. Okay, so now, now, now what do I do? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Um, uh, what to do next? All right. I'm <laughs> just getting my thoughts here. <laughs> Seems to be a lot easier. Uh, the good news is, of course, you wrote the twenty dollars puts. You got nine cash, so you are being you're you're committing to buy this stock for eleven dollars. They're fourteen fifty two. They stay above eleven. You're making money, obviously. They go up to twenty bucks a share. You keep all this money. Yes. Uh, so what to do with this cash? So you want to keep uh, you want to keep some cash along. Because you might want to do, you might need to do a rollover. You might not, uh, depending on how the market reacts. Uh, in the meantime, what do you do with the dough? Uh, this is this is the question. All right. And, and in theory, you could buy Spire stock. You could just buy the stock at fourteen sixty five, and you could write call options against it to bring in more money. Um, that's a strategy you could do, or you could just buy the stock at fourteen sixty four. And just start accumulating this stock. You've got 19 grand. You can buy a thousand uh, for 14.5. You can get a thousand shares. Uh, but you know, you you could theoretically buy a thousand shares and offer uh, put contracts, uh, call contracts. But I I wouldn't really do it. I wouldn't I wouldn't um, I wouldn't do that uh, because the stock could go up up to 17, 18 in the shot. And you know, you got to be you you can go long the stock and do nothing. Just hold it and um, if the shares pop up to seventeen, eighteen dollars, twenty dollars, then you write puts, uh, rent, write call options against your stock while these puts shrink out, and you'll eventually buy them back for very little. That's what you could be doing here. Uh, okay, this is it's it's your uncle Bruce. You're trying to struggling here, struggling. Uh, maybe I'm too tired today. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Eighteen put average, eleven dollars, nineteen eighty eight altogether. 18 put average eleven dollars nineteen eighty eight altogether. Okay, I how you're saying how you were saying it, I don't know. Eleven dollar premium. Nice premiums. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Well done. Well done. Um okay, I'm just reading some other comments here. Just check this book. Uh yeah, right, 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 right. Um Ed told me he's written uh, wrote my first Two covered calls, Matterport, 2250 November, and bought in and brought in 700 Now what? Okay, good, 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 good. So you, you brought in 350 a contract for 2250s. So um, um, in theory, you are, are, are being paid um, $26 a share for your Matterport if they go higher and you were to get exercised. Theoretically, you're not going to get exercised. Theoretically, that's not going to happen. The, the, the game now is these November contracts uh, won't hold a 350 value if the stock doesn't keep going up. If the stock stalls out and today it's up 85 cents, it's not up 285, it's up 85. If tomorrow, Friday, let's say, the stock sits at 23, where it is here, 2320, goes to 22 and sits at 2250 for a while. These contracts will go down to three dollars. If the shares on tomorrow or Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, if there's, if in the next week or so the shares back off to twenty dollars on a profit-taking reconsolidation kind of move, which would not be unreasonable to expect, these calls could go down to like a dollar twenty-five, a dollar fifty, dollar ten. You might be buying them back there. Keeping the difference, you sold at three fifty, you're buying back at one fifty. There's a two dollar gap. That's four hundred bucks. You keep, and you give three hundred back. You keep the four hundred. 
free, uh, which goes against the cost of your stock. It's money for you. Uh, and then you can uh, decide whether you want to write additional calls depending on how the stock does. That's what. That's what the what is now. So right now you are looking for these contracts to depreciate in value from time as each day goes by, obviously, because they will die in November. But also stock valuations, how the stock is going to do. If it's now going to trade between 20 and 25, let's say, it's going to do this for a while. Um, backs off a little bit, you buy these back. The stock comes back up again, you write them again. Stock backs off, you buy them back. Stock goes up again, you write them again. Get ready to start making money on swings. James, uh, laugh out loud, uh, thanks. NTPC Millennium should really start in 1990. IMO. Okay, what else is going on here? Um, uh, I really miss him talking about the market not making up trades. Uh, <laughs> covering a lot of subjects at the same time. Uh, uh, Dustin Moore, we are making some serious money, Bagel Gang. Congrats to all who stayed the course. Patience is the key, as Uncle Bruce always says. Um, and um, James, nice to talk to you guys. Level, I'm I'm here every day, but I'm usually the quiet kid in the corner. Uh, might we expect a short attack on SoFi tomorrow? I would would not expect it, but then again, uh, who knows? Um, and uh, J Mac Brunk, Bruce, um, we're down, we're closed on the market. Bruce, I'm looking for. ATIP calls January 23rd and January uh, for January 2023 and January 2024. I'm looking at ATIP calls. Uh, $5 calls have a huge spread. For example, Jan 24 has a spread for 55 cents and 490. How do I play this to get a reasonable price? Um, yeah, you, 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 uh, if you want to buy any of these, you're only going to offer a price. You're going to bid a price at most a nickel ahead of the 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 ask the uh, the uh, the asking price the bid price excuse me the bid so if the market is 55 to 490 you might offer to pay 60 cents you might bid 60 but even if 55 is too high you might bid 51 uh, you might just be behind this guy um sometimes you'll get these easily sometimes you will not you are trying to buy contracts that are so far out so far out there are very few trades going on on these contracts because they are not relevant to now. And so you are trying to do something that's rather impossible, rather difficult to pull off. Uh, John, happy birthday and congratulations. Um, let's see. Uh, Fenville, Ed Hawkins, one, wait for the dip to buy back. Two, if it runs past 2250 by November, roll them into further day and collect more premiums. There you go. Uh, let's see now. Um, more comments uh uh bell the bell is going thank you larry we did the bell okay we're all done here um and uh that, 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 thanks to the explanation that was my thought nicholas sold my 25 november 19 cover call on matterport ready for some profit taking this week or next nice thanks uncle bruce i already own 800 spire so i think for now <clears throat> i just keep the cash for the puts and look for the next opportunity that's another move too i like it i like it i like it um and um <laughs> larry titus you are the quasimodo of the channel um <laughs> oh my gosh all right thank you everybody for hanging around uh we're done uh the final numbers 506 gain for the dow 53 for s p 500 nasdaq up 155 points what a day uh oil up 94 cents Rocket Lab gain uh, lost 39 cents to 1415. It's one of the only losers. SoFi gained 30 to 1714. GameStop up 95 cents to 191.09. Matterport with a gain of 85 cents to 2323. ME up 32 to 920. Good day again. Ma uh, Smart Rent up 40 cents to 1340. Spire down 393 to 1452. ATIP 350 a share up 11 and a half cents Sixterra 964 up 21 cents had a nice little surge at the end AMC lost eight cents Robinhood lost 94 Vanek up 339 Home Depot down 33 cents IBM gained 204 a share it's interesting that Home Depot lost 33 cents with the Dow up 506 points why would Home Depot drop 33 cents today just to kind of make you wonder Get you thinking, uh, supply chain problems? Kind of, you know, maybe they're not going to get the delivery of the merchandise they need on time for Christmas. Uh, Dow's up 506. Microsoft up only 98 cents. Mind you, it's had a big run, but it is back off from that 305 range. 
Apple up 98 cents, Tesla up a dollar 70, um, Bed Bath Beyond down a penny, Blackberry up 105 to 1061. Royal Caribbean ended up with a gain of 277. Goldman Sachs ended up with a gain of 623 to 391.70. A very good day today. So there you are. That's what we're hap that's what's been happening here. Uh, U.S. household net worth, all U.S. household net worth in America now is worth $142 trillion, trillion dollars, $142, a new record. Housing prices, absolutely high. Uh, also, housing net worth, the amount of cash Americans are sitting on, trillions of dollars, trillions of them. They want to spend some of it. They want to buy stuff, go places, do things. They're being held back right now, and that is a slingshot. We, we are we are pulling this thing. It is it's gonna go this that's why the markets are up. They're not gonna give up. They're not gonna back off knowing this. This is public knowledge. This is not unknown by everybody that needs to know this info. See? Uh that's what's going on. So what that's a lot of dong. Whatever happened to that dong guy? Uh, yeah, I would remember that dong guy. All right. Um, uh, it's a lot of dong. Uh, indeed it is. Uh, interesting. Uh, we're now at, uh, on the aftermarket Matterport at 2340 up 17 cents now. Um, and the two day comeback has continued at the moment for the markets. Uh, with the Dow now where it is uh, at 34.764, the all-time high for the Dow is 35,631. We're only 900 points away from an all-time record Dow high. That's how close we are to the all-time high for the Dow. So, you know, at one point this week, we were almost 2,000 points away from the high. Now we're less than 1,000. We're coming on quickly. Um, interesting how this market is reacting. Okay. Um, let's go. Rocket Lab after hours, five cents higher at 420. Uh, SoFi after hours, 1717 up three cents. GameStop after hours, not down eight cents at 191. Matterport, 2340, as I say, up 17. Uh, ME uh, up a nickel on the aftermarket. Uh, smart Rent unchanged on the aftermarket. Spire aftermarket, 1474 up 22 cents, interestingly. Um, it'll be interesting to see the aftermarket on Spire all night and tomorrow. ATIP 350 unchanged more or less on the aftermarket. Sixterra 964 no trades on the aftermarket. Up 21 cents on the day for Sixterra. Okay, there you have it. There's the uh, the breakdown of the big uh, market here. Um, uh, yes, uh, here we go. Dustin Moore say, <clears throat> uh, DraftKings, classes are important <clears throat> as the SPACs have now become the mainstream. And options is a way to make money on our shares. Uh, I agree. I agree. You can, you can make money on options on GameStop too. But if you have a variety, varied account, you can really constantly bring income in from various sources. And therefore, you can look to basically get yourself self-employed uh, rather than be an employee of somebody. Hey, Uncle B, I asked the other day about <clears throat> what I should do with a January 22, $12.5 call contract. <clears throat> um I was wrong about the day, though. It's actually a November call. Should I still continue to just hold it? Um, uh, what stock are we talking about, Skoll? Uh, are we talking about Matterport? I suspect you are, but I'm not sure if you are. Um, what should I do with the January 22, $12.5 call contract? I'm thinking it's Matterport. Uh, and it's not a January. It's a November. Um, so that's the question. Yeah, I, I'd still be holding it, uh, You know, letting the stock top out. Uh, you know, maybe you'll, maybe you'll sell it tomorrow. I don't know. Um, let's see. That's Skoll. Um, uh, sorry, it's a Spire call. Oh, thank you. Okay, Spire. All right, a Spire. Well, Spire has backed off on you. Um, obviously, <clears throat> I'd hang on to it. Yeah, I, I'd hang on to it right now. See if Spire has a couple of dollars uh, more coming into it uh, because it'll it's consolidating right now. I'm not sure you know, how it'll run, but... This thing is capable of a move at any time, so uh, there you go. Okay, uh, let's go. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's a spiral. Um, is it smart business for the 
ATIP to be this quiet on a new CEO hire. Uh, is no news considered better than any? Then if they actually gave some updates, how about the street likes to hear news? Uh, BW, keep in mind that there are probably 20 to 50 law firms right now trying to gather up customers to sue the company uh, through a class action lawsuit. Uh, the company right now is wise to just clam up, do their search for a CEO quietly. Uh, don't don't make any announcements of any kind. Just get their hands on a CEO. Then uh, get the board of directors together and, and clue in the CEO on all of the matters at hand with regard to the business and all the internal info that the CEO needs to know. Uh, this will take some time. So they might announce, let's say they announce a new CEO Monday. It might take two weeks before the CEO actually says very much uh, of substantive because it'll take two weeks of the CEO to be fully briefed on what really is going on and where we're really at. On the other hand, it might take the CEO a couple of days to get all the info they need, they, that person needs. Then they start bringing in their team. Then they put together their battle plan. Then they announce it. So a lot will be going on off camera, behind closed doors, uh, for good reason. But for the better of, the betterment of the company. Now, I think... My, my take on it is the minute they announce a CEO, uh, they will release the history of the CEO, the past, uh, the, the record, uh, you know, what has this person done? If the CEO is hiring additional people, they will likely announce additional people and who they are and what they've done, where they've come from, all that stuff. I think just that info, just that will cause the market to go up two bucks a share. Just that. Because the market will go, okay, they're moving forward now. Uh, they are in the C-suite, solidifying things in the corporate suite. They're going to move forward. And this stock will move up in anticipation of new developments and new objectives and targets and mission statements and everything else. That That's just how I think this is going to happen. Now, maybe today, maybe the stock went up 11 cents today because... Uh, I don't. It's possible. We're close. Maybe they know somebody. We'll find out. Uh, I can't tell you though. I mean, I can only. I'm guessing. I, I'm completely guessing. But I, I kind of know. I kind of think I know the game plan here. Um, if I were the CEO, if I were 40 years old of being brought into this thing, I know my game plan. It would be exactly what I just told you. I would not immediately call a press conference because I'm in no way qualified to speak to the public right now. I just got the job. Let me figure out who I'm dealing with here. Who are these people? Who am I getting rid of? Who am I canning? Who am I keeping? And who am I bringing in from the outside? Because I was hired, and my thinking would be that I would be hired by this company where they know I can quickly turn the ship around and get things going in the right direction. That would be my directive. Here are the keys, fix. And then I would get in there and dig through the books sit down with the auditors, meet with the directors, figure out who's who in the zoo, find out what everyone's philosophy is with the company going forward, where they think they're at, where they think they've been at, get a handle on who's who with what, where and when. And then I would make my, make my start making moves. The street gets the sign and the sense that there's an action person in charge now. This stock goes up two bucks. That's the first thing, because it will take nothing it will take a couple of million shares of interest in this stock for it to go up two bucks a share. Boom, it's 550. Now, a month of down the road, the CEO starts talking through the investor relations department, which may be completely revamped. And watch out, every week, just like Matterport, every week another announcement is made. All of a sudden, you'll see the stock pop up to 657 bucks, and you'll also notice a whole bunch of law firms will just quietly go away because they cannot attract enough clients to sue these guys because the stock isn't going to stay here anymore. It's now back to 758 bucks. People are going to go, why should I sue these guys? I average down on this stuff and I'm up two bucks a share. I'm not going to sue them because if I sue them and I win, it costs the company money, which means the stock will go down. I'm a shareholder. I don't want the stock going down. This is where these law firms are... Um, 
just hyping up their trade and their names to try to get publicity, to try to get business. And um, again, I you know they have a valid point. Great. They think they have a valid point. Great. It's America. Everybody sues everybody for whatever the reason. Uh, but um, this turnaround on the stock back to 750 wouldn't take much. Now, from 750 to 1250, that's another, that will take deals. That will take business deals. But I, I don't think they'll be long in coming once the new CEO has control of this thing. Because the, the, the CEO will have the blessing of the major shareholder of this company, which is a hedge fund worth 75 billion dollars and if this company ATIP needs a couple of billion dollars to complete a very large acquisition of maybe 15 small little companies to bend in all into ATIP over the next two years something tells me a little birdie over here is telling me that ATIP can get their hands on two billion dollars it'll take about this long that's how long it's gonna take for them to get two billion dollars at two and a quarter percent interest because you're going to be buying operating physiotherapy centers it's not like they're going to make money in five years they're making money now they're buying profitable operating physiotherapy centers adding into the 900 they've got yeah so they're going to be at 2,000 centers 3,000 centers 5,000 centers in the next five years this isn't going to be under 10 bucks this year. It's not going to be under 20. It's going to be 40 to 50 dollars. They're going to be issuing dividends. Count on it. Uh, this is coming. This hedge fund that owns this thing, most of it, that's what they're looking for. They're looking for a return on their investment. And a lovely return is dividend returns. Now, maybe the hedge fund will be willing to part with their stock when the stock reaches 40, 50 bucks a share. Maybe. Uh, United Healthcare buys the whole thing at 60 bucks a share. Sure, but it won't be a 910 facility physiotherapy center, not out of the 30,000 that exist. These guys get the 5,000 therapy centers. They are the top dog. They're the big boys. Now they're a target of the big health providers, potentially. But then again, maybe not. Uh, maybe these guys will always be the top dog, and they will just keep climbing and go to 6,000. 7,000, 8,000 centers and have 40% of the market. It's a wide open market. Anyway, there you go. It's just me. Uh, I'm talking the future. Okay. Let's see what else. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I got nothing on GameStop. Does anyone have anything on GameStop? Uh, someone's asking if there's anything on GameStop. Uh I got. I have heard nothing at this point. Uh, stocks at one ninety ninety five. Stocks not indicating anything going on. Um, let's see. Let's see. Never say die. That's it. Uh, yeah. When you got seventy five billion dollars, you have a few options at your disposal to fix something up. And uh, yeah, something tells me ATIP is going to be fixed up. Uh, yes. It is going to uh, be fixed up and cleaned up to um, make those uh, $75 billion hedge fund people happier. They'll be happier sooner rather than later. Yeah, they're not done yet. Uh, they've only just started. Yeah, th this is for people who lost 100000 or more. Uh, they're, I don't know, 10, 20 of them? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh GameStop tweeted three hours ago, uh, seven red letters, one blue letter, four lines. Uh, uh, GameStop still trading set. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't know what's going on. No idea. Uh, Mr. T, hey, buddy, thank you. Uh, hey, Brucey. Uh, Brucer, just stopping by. Hope you had a lovely birthday yesterday. Oh, yes, I was in the dentist chair for two hours. It was a good time. I'm still long, and I'm writing weekly puts on the Bruce. Uh, thanks, man. Uh, Krishna. Thank you, Krishna, for the donation on PayPal. Just to see it hop, popping in here. Thank you. Yeah, it was a two-hour session on the de on the dentist chair. Uh, I got to tell you, the uh, the tops of my teeth here are getting whiter. <laughs> fillings everywhere. Fillings here now. 
I got another root canal next week. Uh, I got a, an extraction to work on. Oh, I got fun. And then they're going to clean it all. All the tartar. Oh, there's so much in here. My my hygienist is going to be just chiseling away in my mouth. I'm going to have to get him to freeze me up because I am afraid he is going to hurt me bad if I don't get frozen first. Oh, gosh. I don't know. It is insane. And it's insanity. Chris, uh, I'm going to hit the hay, folks. It's been a weird one. My daughter broke her collarbone this morning. Oh, no. It's going to be a long night. Oh, you guys. Oh, hang in there. Uh, Clay, I'm going to get another 10. 2023 ATIP call contracts. There you go. Uh, man, green on SoFi today. That's right. Uh, we were green on SoFi today. And doesn't that say it all? We were green on SoFi. Hang in there, Chris Condi. Uh, best wishes to your daughter. Hang in there, man. Oh, man, that's sad. Uh, I remember when I came home one day. <laughs> I came home one day. Uh, Oh, our daughter was about uh, four. Four? Yeah. Yeah, four. And she had fallen off a chair, and uh, she had uh, she had uh, hurt her arm, and uh, we had to go to the hospital. But uh, I got to tell you, the, 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 st <laughs> the staff was so good. This is back in 1991, 92. Um, uh, she was just a darling, um, and uh, they, they were told, they told her what they're going to do, and could take x-rays and see what's going on and uh, we have a little fracture here on the arm um we're going to wrap it up and then we're going to put this cast on it and uh, you can watch us doing it uh, she was fascinated and then they said now you know once the cast is done everybody has to sign it and people can can draw hearts on it and oh she thought this is the greatest thing she's walking around with a with an art project on her. Oh, she was thrilled and so she had her cast on for got in a couple of weeks she's fine Still loves us. Uh, hilarious. The stat, the hospital, they were just delighted with her. Uh, just delighted. Anyway. Uh, you know what? Be nice to your hygienist in that case. The last person you want to piss off. You know what the good news about my hygienist? My hygienist loves to talk about the stock market. Doesn't know that I got a YouTube channel. Um, it just found out. So uh, we're, we're going to have a... This hygienist is going to get a session. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Unfortunately, the hygienist isn't going to be paying me. I'm going to be paying the hygienist. Oh, man. We'll see what happens. Uh, call me insane, but I love going to my hygienist. Uh, I, I do like my hygienist. I, I specific, specifically asked for this one. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing him in, in that way. But, oh, and I'm looking forward to the net result, which will be beautiful. But, oh, the getting there. Uh, get yourself an electric toothbrush, Bruce. We'll always feel like coming back. Uh, I have one. I don't. I don't really like using it. I just. I'm just not a fan of the. Just not a fan of it. Uh, just you know, what can I say? Uh, <laughs> when you get to be my age, uh, uh, these dentists try to talk to me like I'm a 20 year old. You got to take care of your teeth. I go. I'm 66. Leave me alone. Uh, you know, they're still here. These are all mine. I mean, I know 40 year olds that have one. You know, one here, or at least I. I used to serve 40 year olds and. 38-year-olds would come into my store with no teeth. In public, they'd come in here with no teeth. Oh, All right, Uncle Bruce, I have a problem. I'm up on my January 5 call, um, the $15 for Matterport. I bought it $377. I don't know when to sell. I, don't, I have a problem. I'm rich. I'm wealthy beyond words at $23.23 a share. I'm up. Uh, I, got eight, I got an $8.23 cent in the money call contract. I have no idea what to do with myself. Uh, all right? Congratulations, you are becoming Warren Buffett, uh, richer than rich, and you're going to get richer. How about that? So just hang in there, and we'll, we'll talk to you about it tomorrow. Uh, Joshua, Uncle Bruce, what, what do these cryptic GameStop tweets mean? Why do they treat us like a joke? I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't care. I just look at the stock price. That's telling me what's going on. I'm also a cream cracker. Uh, I'm, I'm also cream cracker, so heading to sleep, too. Night all. Catch you tomorrow. Uh, British Shilling, you take care, buddy. You take care. Island Girl and tw a Floss twice a day. It works the best. I can't go without Floss. There you go. Anyway, I don't want to talk about teeth anymore. I am done. <laughs> Folks, have a good night. Thank you very much for being here today and hanging in there with me uh, through this uh, another very interesting day. What, Wheat Wild, thanks, buddy. Uh, appreciate the donation. Of course, your thoughts on Microsoft. September 22, $400 calls at four. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, it's time to shut this show down. Oh, my gosh. All right. Thanks, Uncle Bruce. Have a good night. My older sister, 
uh, shoved me into a window when I was five. I had a shard of glass poking me in the back of my head, bleeding and stuck in my hair. My mother yelled, what are you doing back there? Nothing. <laughs> Have a great night, Bruce and Jen. Thanks, uh, Sharon. Uh, tomorrow's Friday. Uh, tomorrow's Friday. We got trivia tomorrow night, seven o'clock Eastern. If you're interested, see you all. Uh, thanks, SBT Boxer. Thank you, everybody, for all your uh, your kind words. Best wishes for our birth, my birthday here, Jen, and I appreciate it. these donations you guys made are unbelievable. Thank you. Help pay the bills on those dental bills. I'll tell you that later, Uncle B. Have a good evening, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow morning at eight thirty for sure. Um, uh, have a nice evening, big man, little man. This doesn't been established yet. Pretty adamant that you're somewhere between four feet and seven feet tall. Uh, have a good night. Good night, HDDQ. Good night, good night, good night. Enjoy, everybody. Uh, get some rest. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm getting rest. And let's get richer tomorrow. How about that? Let's just get richer. Simple. That, that could solve all our problems, won't it? We'll just get richer. How about that? Good night, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Take care. We'll see you later. Bye for now.